Hallie, let's go back to this Saturday event. Um, so I guess it would be nine days ago. Uh, some are wondering whether this yeah. was the super spreader event. We know eight people have tested positive. Now, most the, the big announcement was outdoors in the Rose Garden, but we have uh, some images of the indoor reception, and it's so striking, yeah. Hallie. We can throw some of those pictures on, and you'll see, um, and you see the little red dot that shows who subsequently tested positive. So as you walk through them, you you, you, you start to see the mixing and mingling. Let's go through the photos, and and, and it really tells the story. It really does, Savannah, especially because listen. I don't see any masks in these photos, the ones that have been released. There are no visible masks. You have people like Bill Barr, Alex Azar, uh, top cabinet officials talking with Amy Coney Barrett. We should note that uh, Bill Barr, the attorney general, tested negative. Tom Tillis, though, who's seen there talking with one of Amy Coney Barrett's children, he tested positive. Um, this, this is close contact. These are close quarters. Uh, as you can see, Senator Mike Lee sort of really leaning in to talk with Judge Barrett there. Obviously, he is somebody who has tested positive as well. Now, the White House points out that everybody who comes into these events is is tested uh, with that rapid test, presumably before they actually enter the event. But we know that those tests are not 100 percent accurate. Masks help. But again, we didn't see those in that setting. I have to tell you, Savannah, I was in the Rose Garden that day covering uh, this event for NBC News. Obviously, that was outside. The media was separated from the rest of the crowd outside by a decent amount of space. We were on the driveway as opposed to on the lawn. These indoor receptions, though, they're, they're very common. They happen a lot at the White House, especially for events like these. Those attendees were obviously mingling with everybody else who was outside as well. So the focus yeah. is really turning to this event. Who else, uh, for example, might be testing positive there? There's a couple of outstanding names. There's a picture of Pat Cipollone, the White House counsel, for example. You can see Chris Christie, who tested positive, by the way, hugging somebody. Cipollone is still one of our outstanding questions here. Uh, and First Lady Melania Trump, of course, positive as well. Judge Barrett, by the way, has subsequently said she had had COVID over the summer, yeah. so hopefully had antibodies as well. Hallie, keep us posted. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.